and flipgrid.com. I'll take you to the site. If you have never signed up for Flipgrid, you would click on the blue sign up button. And what it's going to do is it's going to associate with your Google account or your GUHSD email. There's no username or password that you need to know. You would click this and it may ask a question about which school you're at. Flipgrid is completely free for education, so that's why it wants to know which school you're at. If you have been someone that's gotten into Flipgrid before and you're revisiting it, you would simply go to login and you would log in with your Google account. Once you're in, you would notice some menu things at the top. Uh, my grids would be the equivalent of like your classes. It could be a course, it could be a class period. Mixtapes are a place for you to favorite uh, what you might see as being exemplars of certain assignments. With Grid Pals, there's a social media element where you can connect with teachers within your school, within the district, or also worldwide, and some other features too. If we go on over to the top right-hand corner and click on the account, I'd like to go over to the profile. There are some global things that you can set up and do here. First off, you can change your picture if you'd like. Second thing is you'll notice uh, as you scroll on down, you can put in a bio or some information if you'd like. If we go on over to default topic, you can set some global settings that will always be the default whenever you make anything. So if you find that later on that you're navigating through a lot and clicking a lot of things, you can just do it once here and this will be the way that everything is set up. You can set a default time if you'd like to. Uh, you could choose to turn on or turn off video moderation, which we'll explain a little bit later. And you can also choose to allow different types of functionality for both you and the students. You may find that some of these things may be appropriate or maybe you're not ready for them yet or maybe your students aren't. But if you go here, it will take care of everything for you and you just simply go ahead and update. So what I'd like you to do please is go ahead and sign in, uh, modify your profile as appropriate and always know that you can come back and fix this.